Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. So you did not know that your computer technically had VNC um, server installed on there or somehow has been using a remote to your computer to remoting in using VNC viewer. Well, not a problem. We're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall the VNC viewer and also the VNC server. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much go to start and from there you pretty much go to settings then select apps and let the applications load and what you're going to look for is called real vnc so right now technically if you have a computer this most likely you probably have this if someone's remoting to your computer and you don't know what it is the file that's going to be installed is called the vnc server and it will look like this icon right here they might hide it but this is what the program looks like and it pretty much gives you the information for them to remote into it so what you need to do for this is just be sure that you technically select the program and select uninstall. And it tells us that this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Go ahead and select it. And you might be prompted. Let's see if it does ask. Yes. So you would have to go ahead and press yes. And let the program do its work. So now technically the server is uninstalled and we do not see the icon anymore. So that is a very good thing. That means that they can't remote to your computer. Now technically, if you didn't want this program to technically install it for the viewer that someone's been remoting into someone else's that's probably against your business policy about it, then technically you would have to select the VNC viewer, pretty much go to the same place, go to pretty much start and to settings and select apps and scroll down again just to show you and you'll select the VNC viewer. Now before I go ahead and press uninstall, if it comes to a point that you do not see this here, this happens very unusual but it does happen underneath apps and features that you sometimes don't see the icons here. So if the program is not being shown, just go to start and just type in the VNC. I type in VNC and then here comes up the program that you have. You'll pretty much just right click and select uninstall and I'll take us to the control panel for programs and features and here it is. If you had VNC viewer, you'll select it. If it's the VNC um, server, select that one. But in case if it doesn't want to show the shortcuts either, then just pretty much go to the search bar. Go to start or open the search bar and type in um, pretty much control panel. From there select programs, programs and features. And you're going to look for the file that has VNC. Be sure you select the one and select uninstall. And you'll pretty much press yes. And I'll pretty much take it to the same place. But we're pretty much going to show the options through here. Press uninstall. Press uninstall again. You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And it pretty much does the work for you. So here it is. The VNC viewer has been uninstalled. And also the VNC server. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.